So we are going to try and make this crochet cactus bookmark. Um, to do that we are going to need two different colours of yarn, three mil crochet hook, uh, a needle and a pair of scissors. So we're going to start by making our pot down the bottom here. So to do that we're going to need our brown yarn and our hook. So I'm going to start by making a slip knot. Pop our hook into the loop, tie it up. We're then going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. We're then going to go back on ourselves and single crochet three. So one. It's the most fiddly, I hate this bit. Two. And the last one. Three. We've got our first little row of single crochets. So we're going to chain one, flip our crochet round, and then we're going to uh, single crochet increase one in each. Uh, stitch. So to do that, we're going to pop our hook into the first loop, single crochet, single crochet again into the same loop, then into the next stitch, we're just going to single crochet once, and then into that third and final one, we're going to single crochet twice. So one and two. And that's our second row complete. We are then going to chain one, reverse, and we're going to single crochet all the way along. So that's one, two, three, four, And then five, last one, chain one, flip our crochet again. So then we're going to single crochet once into this first stitch. Into the second stitch we're going to increase, so single crochet. And then back into that same loop, single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet into the next one. We're going to increase again into the next loop. So single crochet, back into the same loop, single crochet, and into that next one we're going to just do our one single crochet. Okay, we're then going to do one final row, so chain one flip it round and we're just going to single crochet the whole way along. Cool, and that is our pot. So take our scissors and then you just want to feed that tail through your loop and you'll make a knot. That's our pot. So on the top of your pot you should have, if we count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chains, seven stitches. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our green for our cactus. We're going to make a slip knot. We are going to start on start this end. We're going to leave that very first uh, stitch, we're going to ignore that, and we are going to single crochet 
into this second one. So to do that, bring the arm through, just like that. And we're going to do our chain one, and then we are going to single crochet one, two, three, four. And that is the first row of our cactus. So basically, the next uh, 45 stitches, 45 rows, you're just going to repeat. So that's chain one, reverse, and then single crochet back on yourself. So into that uh, second uh, stitch from the hook, you're going to go single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and then into that chain stitch, the very first one that you made, you want to do a single crochet, and that is your second row. So like I said you just pretty much want to carry on doing that and there's going to be 45 rows of that stitch. So yeah. Okay so we've got our main body of our bookmark. We've got all of our uh, 47 rows in total from top to bottom and now we are going to start to make this little guy's arms. So, what you're going to need to do is chain seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now we're going to go back on ourselves from the second chain from the hook. We're going to single crochet. Do that again, single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, and now we're going to do that one more time. So, to create the little um, curve in his arm to make it bend like this, we are going to now uh, decrease. So, you're going to pop your hook into the next stitch, yarn over as though you're going to do a single crochet and put it through the stitch, but instead of going all the way you're going to leave it with two loops on your hook and then you're going to put your hook into the very next stitch. You have three loops on your hook and you're going to go through all of them at once and that will create a little bend in your little arm. So then we're going to carry on like normal, so into the next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet, and now we are going to slip stitch across the five single crochets that you've got at the top here. So put your hook in, catch the yarn, pull it through, and then you're going to bring it through that second loop on your hook. Okay, and all the way along, same again, push the hook through, catch the yarn, put it through, and then put it through that second loop on your hook. Same again. Okay, and so now we're at the other side. So once again, we are going to chain seven. Then we're going to reverse back on ourselves. So we're going to single crochet into that second chain from the hook. One, and again, two, and then finally three. And then we're going to decrease. So we're going to Pop our hook again into that first stitch, yarn through, and we're going to go into the next stitch, yarn 
yarn through and then go through all three loops on your hook. We're then going to do our final chain. And there we've got our cactus's little arms. So what we're going to do now is single crochet the whole way across. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then you can start to see our little arms all in shape there right so now we're going to start to build his little head here this bit at the end so to do that we are going to chain one reverse our crochet and we're going to single crochet into that first stitch uh, from the hook Okay, we're now going to do two double crochets into the second stitch from the hook. So to do that, you're going to yarn over, put your hook into the hole, catch the yarn, pull it through, and you'll have three loops on your hook. You're then going to catch the yarn, pull it through the first two loops, and then you're going to catch the yarn again and pull it through the second two loops. So one more time, you're going to yarn over, put the hook into the hole, catch the yarn, pull it through the hole. You're then going to yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over, pull through the second two loops. Okay, so into this next stitch we're going to do one triple. So you're going to yarn over twice, put your hook into the hole, and catch the yarn, pull it through the hole. You'll have four loops on your hook. So you're going to catch the yarn, pull it through the first two, leaving you with three loops on your hook. Then you're going to catch the yarn, pull it through the second two, which leaves you with two loops, and then one more time, yarn over and pull through both. In this next stitch, we are going to do two more double crochets. So yarn over, into the hole, and then again into that same stitch. And then into this very last little guy here, we're just going to do one single crochet. And that is our cactus. So what you're going to want to do, snip your tail, and then you're going to pull the tail through your loop. You're then going to want to tie in all of your ends so he's all nice and neat. And then what your guy's going to want to do is he's going to start curling up, he's going to make this sort of spiral shape. So what I'd recommend is you wash him in some warm water very carefully and then you take yourself a couple of mats and you're going to take your cactus after you've washed him and you're just going to pin him out to dry and that should make him nice and flat and ready for you to use so thank you very much, and that's how you make a cactus bookmark.